Welcome back to Poker Break. Tormentic here. I apologize for getting this information out a day or two late, but I have been switching phones. So, and since I do everything on my phone, edit, record, everything like that, it's taken me a little bit to get back up and running, but here I am. This will be a two-part video. First off, congratulations. We have unlocked Suicune. We've known that for a little while. Now we actually get to raid it tomorrow. going to go over all of the counters for that, what you're looking for CP-wise for your perfect shiny Suicune. Also, water event those details were dropped yesterday super excited they're bringing the water event back this year i have all of those details as well too i'll put a link in the description a time link so you can jump ahead if you want to do that if you already know about suicune but here we go first off that's what you're looking at right now is shiny suicune what we think it's going to look like i think it looks the best out of the three so i might be biased though because this is my favorite of the three legendary dogs so what you're looking for is a 2130 weather boosted for perfect 1704 for non weather boosted perfect uh, it has two weaknesses uh, electric and grass it is a pure water type so definitely water and grass will be super effective against it charge moves wise I want to say Hydro Pump definitely is the one you're going to have to look out for just because of the amount of damage. Ice Beam, depending on if you use a lot of grass counters, because you have to remember, ice is very strong against grass. Fast moves wise, though, not too worried about anything. Like I said, mainly it's just going to be that Hydro Pump that I'm going to look out for. So counter wise, what you're going to be looking out for, like I said, are mainly going to be grass and electric types. The three top, of course, are going to be electric types, Raikou taking the top spot, followed closely by Electrovire. Now, if you notice, all of the charge attacks that you see right here for the electric ones, minus Zapdos, are definitely going to be that wild charge attack. Roserade is up there just because of its attack, I believe. Um, again, if you go and you look at the good alternatives, they're all going to be grass and electric. You do have the random Mewtwo down there, but that's only going to be an EX Mewtwo that actually has some sort of electric attack, most likely Thunder. But again, anything that you really have that's going to be electric and uh, grass will definitely be super, super effective against Suicune. Now, the last thing I want to make sure you are aware of, this takes place 4 to 7 p.m. local time. This is not set up to where everyone gets to do it at the same time. Check your local time, 4 to 7 o'clock, you will be able to do this. They give you five raid passes. Now, moving on to the Water Festival. This starts next week, August 23rd, 1 p.m. Pacific time, and it runs until August 30th at 1 p.m. Pacific time. Now, this is a really awesome, I'm super excited they're bringing this back. It's the Water Festival, best time to find you those water shinies. They will increase the spawns of most water type Pokemon, Magikarp, Wooper, Whelmer, like they see right there. I would imagine you would see probably Horsey, maybe um, even a Shelter or two. They are introducing new shinies though, Caravana and Barboach, which thank God, because I have I always have to just not click on Barboach, especially for those seal quests where it's catch five water type Pokemon. I'm glad that we're actually getting two new water shinies. And they actually look really cool. I'm really interested to see what the evolved forms are. Also want to let you know that on the 28th, there's going to be a raid hour, and it's going to be for those legendary water spirits. Now, they're going to be region locked, so you're only going to be able to catch the one that's actually available in your region, but there are a lot of people who have not seen them yet, so I'm super excited. I have not been able to catch one. Also, some of the raid bosses will change to reflect it being the water festival, and also Kingler and Crawdaunt can actually learn a new water move, crab hammer interested to see how much damage that actually does water event probably one of my favorite events that they actually do in pokemon go now the gift event is still going on it runs until the 19th of next week definitely want to be sending out those gifts definitely want to be opening those trying to get some of those two kilometer eggs that have such a large hatch pool in them they will be going away and reverting back to the regular 7ks in roughly about two days and um, also, I know there's a lot of information kind of being circulated around right now about the ultra bonuses that we unlocked because of the three GoFests, us completing those. I'm going to actually include that in the weekly report that you get on Monday, just because I want to try to see if there's any more information out there before we actually go into a breakdown of it. My name is Tremantic, though. I hope you have found this helpful. If you have, please give the video a like, subscribe to the channel for more tips and tricks, and as always, I will catch you later.